Hey you, welcome to Sacrilegious Discourse. I'm husband. I'm wife. And together we're reading the Bible. Starting with Genesis and eventually ending with Revelations, we're working through every book and offering our atheist two cents. Or shekels. Yeah, those. We're asking questions and pointing out all the nonsense. We aren't academics or scholars. Nope. In fact, when it comes to religion, we really don't know anything at all. What we've learned so far is that God's a dick. Oh, he really is, isn't he? If you're interested in how we reached this startling conclusion, maybe start from episode one. Otherwise, jump in anywhere. It's all good. Yep. Hey, wife, we just got a new sponsor. It's Anchor. They must think we're doing something right because they picked us back up. That's amazing. Want to hear something even more amazing? Uh, yeah. I actually know what they are. You are full of shit. I'm calling your bluff. Tell me about Anchor. Okay, so Anchor by Spotify is the easiest way to make a podcast with everything you need all in one place. I'm actually surprised you knew that. But did you also know that Anchor has tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer? Yes, because I see you do that on your phone all the time and it looks pretty simple. It really is. And when hosting on Anchor, you can distribute your podcast on listening platforms like Spotify and Apple Podcasts. But I use CastBox. Yeah, darling. I know you like CastBox. It gets distributed there too and lots of other platforms as well. And how much are we paying for this awesome service? Absolutely nothing. Coolio. So then we should tell people to download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started? Yep. Do it now. Hey, husband. Hey, wife. Guess what today is? Today is... Tuesday yeah, that. Q&A. Tuesday. Tuesday Q&A. Yeah. It's easy to lose track sometimes. But that's what we're doing though is Tuesday Q&A. Okay. So when I said do you know what today is, it's actually Monday, but it's <laughs> right. coming out it's on... It's almost Tuesday. Yeah, that's true because yeah. guess what? We we're waited. Doing it late again. We waited till the midnight the night before. Yeah, yeah. Yay. Good times. Um, So do you know what we're queuing and aing? I really don't. I know, because I didn't tell you. Right, and I've done <laughs> zero prep for today. Well, luckily, I looked up some stuff. I, you know what my prep was? What? Hey, wife. Yeah. <laughs> do some prep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that, yeah, was yeah. My, that was my prep. And I did, by yeah. golly. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. So, um, we are doing a Q&A for Numbers chapters 16 and 17. Okay. And I looked up that dude, Cora. Do you remember oh, what he did? Oh, yeah. Korah was uh, trying to lead a rebellion against uh, Moses and stuff. And how did that grow? I recall it didn't go so well. <laughs> Good act. <laughs> like, like, actually really, really bad. Very bad. Yeah. It was all bad. It was really, really bad. So, yeah, let's talk about it. Okay, but one more thing. Oh, real okay, quick. okay. Yeah, so I just have to say, because, like, I'm in charge of social media, right? Yeah, you are, definitely. Yeah. I'm not. And so I had a Facebook account when we first started. I remember that place, day. You know, <laughs> with, with social, or sacrilegious discourse. Yeah, I remember yeah. those times. And so I set up a Facebook page for mm, yeah. sacrilegious discourse. As one does. As one does. And and then I did make you an admin, but you don't do social media for the podcast. Anything, anything. Anything, really. Yeah. yeah. But, okay, so... But I'm I'm now locked out, apparently permanently. I've sent them my ID. I've sent them everything. I, I don't know what to do. Like, if anybody has any advice on getting into a damn Facebook page without a... Like, I have a two-factor authentication set up, apparently. And I can't two-factor because there is no authenticator to authenticate with. And the, <laughs> the ID sending into them thing didn't work. And I'm like, what the hell do you do? Right. And, and- now I can't really manage our Facebook page other than... Um, Wife tells me occasionally, hey, somebody sent us a message. And I'm like, oh, that's I'm good glad of them. somebody can see this. <laughs> I'm glad that you on a lark made me an admin because I think that was probably not like a plan so much as a, oh, yeah, I should probably do that. Right. Yeah. No, it was a good thing I did because <laughs> yeah. otherwise we would have no access to our Facebook account. Which is stupid. It really is. You know what? What? I hate Facebook. I really do. Too. They are such fuckers. But we love our fans that are on there. Yeah, no. So you know. Like, me hating Facebook, the app, and the guy who runs it and owns it. Yeah, and totally separate. And the way that it is done and the things that they allow versus what they disallow. For example, 
May I tell my personal little spiel before we take a break? Sure. I was uh, talking to a friend of mine from high school that I haven't seen (laughs) in 35 years. And uh, he posted something about um, how gentlemen always um, switch places with their significant other to make sure that they are not on the traffic side of the street if they're walking down the sidewalk together. And I was like, "Mm, okay. But... What I had posted was something along the lines of, right, but if you um, grab me by my shoulders and steer me, I'll punch you in the wiener. Right. And <clears throat> apparently shouldn't, that... You shouldn't, you shouldn't uh, promote violence. Yeah, that was equivalent to starting an insurrection <laughs> and spreading false COVID information that kills thousands of people. Only that's I still am out that there kind on of, Facebook. Right, right. All of that is still there, but boy, I got a warning and when I argued it, now apparently I'm in Facebook jail and cannot um, post things on my Facebook account. So, and and what's really funny is the person to whom I said it was not offended. Right. Because it was a joke. It is known that if I say I am going to punch you in the wiener, that's funny. That is funny. Yeah. That is not a generally, threat. Generally speaking. Yeah. Now what's really funny is hadn't seen the guy in 35 years, but. Um, it was maybe a month or two after this exchange that um, he ended up a couple hours away from us. And so we got together and had beers for yes. the first time in 35 years yep, and sure laughed did. over this. Yeah. And somehow Facebook cannot get his shit together and and be mad at the correct people. So I, I might be a little miffed on my own account, much less the fact that we can't get into our fucking sacrilegious discourse account. Yeah. So basically, fuck Facebook. Fuck Facebook right up the wazoo. Yeah. All right. Now let's uh, go talk about Cora. Yeah, let's talk about Cora. All right. Hey, wife. Yes, husband. Did you know that we are now on Patreon? Um, yes, because you told me, but also, no, tell me more. <laughs> So we're on Patreon now. Are we? We are. And our supporters can go there and support us. And we have multiple levels all the way up to You Killed God. That sounds really drastic and escalated quickly-ish. Well, no, there's multiple levels before there. So it it escalates on a sliding scale of, you know, cheap to to not cheap. But, you know, we can definitely use any amount. So, like, any support is always appreciated. So what... Exactly is Patreon. It's a place where you can show your support for our podcast. And Just our podcast? Any podcast or any <laughs> performer. But, you know, we're the ones that, you know, you're listening to right now. So maybe you should, uh, you know, support us. That'd be awesome. That would be awesome. But we love you anyway. So all you got to do is go to Patreon. Look up Sacrilegious Discourse. It's actually patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse is our actual main page there. So head on over and send us some love. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about Cora. Okay. And uh, his fun little insurrection, speaking of. <laughs> you call that fun, huh? Well, yeah. Um, first of all, do you know who Cora was? I'm a s- no. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Um, do you remember when Moses' brother and sister, Aaron and Miriam, um, were like, my dude, you're making all these decisions and you need to like... You know, yeah. let the rest of us be in on it. And then she got leprosy and stuff. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. Um, so that happened, right? Yeah. Well, Cora was their cousin. And, oh. And he also felt similarly. Only, you know, he got killed by the earth opening up and swallowing his ass. How nice of his cousin. Right? Moses. Right. Now, what's really funny is um, he has mentioned more in books that were left out of what we know as the Bible. Gotcha. And he was also um, mentioned in a lot of um, uh, parts of the, what is the, the, the Quran? That's it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so it's an important character, just not so much in the Bible. That other than as a don't argue with Moses. Right. The end. Got it. So he is quoted in one of the not include the Bibles not stories. Not included in the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. As saying, 
It is not from God that you have received these commandments. You have invented them yourself. Oh, damn. Right? I thought that was like... Wow. Fucking kill, yeah? So, like, there's text out there from ancient times... (laughs) That basically... That Moses was inventing all this crap. Yeah. Um, Wow. Now, this is not to paint Korah in a beautiful light. Sure. He was um, one of the two richest men in the world, so rich that the keys... To all of his lock boxes, just the keys alone Mm -hmm. would have um, taken 300 mules to carry all of the various keys. Good Lord. Yeah. He was fucking rich. Wow. Okay. And he was also. Like they killed Jeff Bezos of the time. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Exactly. Um, He was considered a wise man, chief of his family, um, carried the Ark of the Covenant on his shoulders. So, I mean, sure, he was was rich and important. And, um, you know, there's like all of these factors that go into like, I don't know, did he know what the fuck he was talking about? Or was he just an arrogant guy that wanted some of the power for himself or maybe a bit of both? I'm thinking bit of both. Right. But um, he... um, Okay, sorry, I lost my train of thought here. So, arrogant. Um, Let me go back. Okay, so... (laughs) (laughs) um, He became arrogant due to his pride and ignorance is is what he's known for um, in all of these various books. And um, he gave the credit of his wealth to his knowledge instead of to God. And Got it. So, so he was wrapped up in him. He was a narcissist. He was. He was a little bit proud of himself. Got it. But also he was like, um, oh, I remember. Okay, so it was like all this family infighting stuff because basically, um, so, you know, I told you that he was uh, Moses, Aaron, and Miriam's cousin, right? Right, right? So these guys all came from the same family, sure. right? So Moses and Aaron got the kingdom and the church, basically. Okay. And then, so the the other cousins should have been like princelings or whatever. Right. But the title of prince or whatever of of all of them went instead to the uh, youngest son's family okay. instead. And so um, he's like left left ass out basically he was one of the cousins that got looked over got it and he's like but my dad was one of the big brothers too yeah so what wtf why 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 don't get left out yeah and i'm thinking it was probably because he was you know too smart (laughs) and they were like he's not gonna play ball let's right you know yeah and um so oh there was this story in i think it's in the quran not the bible okay of cora so like i said he's like around okay yeah where he tells this parable that is supposed to represent how he feels about all of these laws that were supposedly from God, where there's a widow, right? And she's, her husband died and she's raising like two or three kids on her own or whatever. And so every time she, um, you know, sows the land, she has to give so much to Moses or Aaron or whoever, right? Yeah. And basically leaves her with nothing. And then um, even when she finally, like for everything she plants, she has to give the majority of it to them and there's not enough left for her and her kids. And then um, for everything that she um, then plants more and they take more, kind of like, you know, the the more money you make, the more taxes you pay sure. kind of thing, yeah. which should sound fair on, on in paper. Unless if it, you're taking everything. That yeah. Making. Yeah. If your percent <laughs> keeps being like 90% regardless, you know, you're going to be poor, you know? Right. So um, she can never get ahead. So basically, um, so she was like, fuck all that and sold the land for a couple of sheep or whatever. But then they were like, right, but we get one of those. So Jeez. then she's left with like the one sheep. And so then she like cooks it up and, and they're like, right, but we get all the choice pieces. Oh, my God. Yeah. And so, like, it, his whole thing was you're going to nickel and dime this bitch. Right. And she's left with nothing. And she's like, fine, then I'm so going to. So we're kind of right with all the stuff that they're yeah. doing. Like, they're they're really it's all for them. people. It's for them. Got it. Not yeah. for the glory of God. Got it. I mean, at least that part is ringing true. Yes. Based on what And Cora was calling them out. <laughs> And that's why they were like, you got to go. Right. So I don't know if if the earth really opened up, but I do know that they found found a way to get rid of him. Yeah, right. Yeah. And um, just make sure I 
didn't miss anything else. Um, yeah, he, oh, in the people's uprisings against God, the consequences do not lie outside the human realm. So remember, like, every time they argued with God, he was like, you know, a little flick here and a little flick there, like, here's some leprosy for you or whatever. Sure. Um, so, like, if you go up against God, then you do get smacked down, but not that hard, supposedly. But if you go against God's reps, you dead. Hardcore, magical dead. Got it. So that's another thing that um, is supposed to go against what we just said. That's supposed to go towards the religious aspect of it, which is, you know, don't go against God's reps because you will get the magical smackdown. God could take care of himself. Right. So he doesn't feel the need to smite the thousands that he still ends up smiting half the time. Right. I was going to say, but he still does. But so. he still does. Right. Yeah. But you're supposed to take from this story that, um, you're, for, you're supposed to forget the other shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just in this particular case, it's like, but remember God, God isn't that mean. He's to, just watching his, his people. Yeah. Back. He's That's just, all. yeah, exactly. Exactly. I wonder, and, I got a, I got a quick question. I, I, I wonder how many Christians out there actually know that many of these things that they read about in their Bible overlap in the, the Quran. I didn't know. So why would somebody who actually gives a shit know? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like I didn't know. So I'm looking into it, right? I'm interested in learning more. People right. who already think they know everything that there is to know about God or whatever. Yeah. Why would they feel the need to look? They think they already know. No, I would bet that that's a, I, I would bet that of people that are in church, that's a small group of people that know that. And because if you know that, you're already questioning things right, that maybe you exactly. probably shouldn't question, right? And and that's one of the things I found most interesting is that I learned more about this character from not the Bible. Right, right. And to know that, oh, gosh, he's out there in and, – and it's not just the Quran. Um, he's in a lot of Jewish texts. He's in all kinds of other um, places elsewise. He's actually like a big – character gotcha in history well and i get the impression that if we really want to know where all this stuff came from there's a lot of reading that needs to be done mm -hmm. like there's a lot not yeah. like the bible barely touches the surface it's, yeah and and the funny thing is that most people that are in church barely touch the surface of the bible right so much like, less the know, surface much less <clears throat> go further into religion as a whole right like if you actually care about god wouldn't you think you'd want to know everything like i would if you're dedicating your life to him and right and, and giving it all to god or whatever the fuck you do but you know what they call that though <clears throat> they call it faith if you have faith you don't need to learn all this other so stuff so faith is that equivalent to stupidity? No, ignorance. Ignorance. Okay. Faith equals ignorance. Got right. it. Right. Because you just don't know. Right. Yeah. 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 That's dumb. One more thing that I found really interesting is that um, when Cora was buried and burned alive. Wait. Oh. Like, okay. you know, the earth swallowed right, him up, right? Right, because there was the fire that was burning the... Yeah, okay. Yeah. So he was both burned and buried alive. Okay. Okay. Um, he did not get to ascend to heaven, so he was not only excluded and punished in mm -hmm. the desert, like he was man punished, he was excluded from heaven altogether. Okay. Because I mean, I would kind of assume that cause he because he went against he God, I guess. So. Right, or exactly. Whatever. He went against God's bros. God's bros, yeah. So, Him yeah. and the several thousand who thought that that death of his was like wait hold on what several thousand it was fifteen thousand that's what i'm saying several thousand like that yeah. was insane that was really ugly like can you i i just whatever yeah like that was and this this whole uprising was like and then that happened anyway the end next chapter i saw somewhere like there's somebody keeps count of how many times how many people god kills versus how many people satan kill in the bible oh. and it's like 10 versus like millions i bet you I know bet. like i mean and, it, and i'm like reading we're reading through the old testament i'm like yep that tracks yeah exactly <laughs> exactly so i just i i found it so interesting that like all of these people were this was a war. This was an, a huge fight. But the Bible treats it like, and then that happens anyways. Yeah. You know, like th these people, this uh, 15,000 fucking people, right? That's huge. Yeah. That's a huge amount that's of people. That's three of our towns. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's a lot of dead people. It, it's not just a lot of dead people. It's a lot of people before they were dead that were like crying out. 
hey, Moses, I don't think you guys are doing this right. Right. And they just killed them and, all. But the proof is in the fact that 15,000 of them died, apparently. Right. Like, that's the proof. Yeah. The proof is, look how many people I killed that were fighting me. And they're dead now. So, believe me, I'm God. Yeah. Okay. Right. You couldn't come up with any other way to prove it? No other way. Like, just killing people is the only way you have to prove you're God. Because, I mean, there's a lot of magic tricks that you could do in front of me that would make me be, like, maybe magic is real. Yeah. I don't like, know. I mean, come down in some ethereal form and, you know. Right. I don't know. Rattle some windows while you're, like, looking at me. Or, or you're show, showing me your ass. I don't care. Right. Either way. But, like, you know, that would... I'd I mean, be like, whoa. David Copperfield made the entire Statue of Liberty disappear, supposedly. Right. Like, that makes me think, okay, magic might be real. I don't fucking know. I, I don't believe in magic, but, like, okay, I'm willing to entertain the notion. Let's see more. What you got? Sure. Well, I mean, you can't talk to the people, but because, you know, it might kill them or something. I, right. I, don't, I don't really know. Right. But whatever. Like, draw something in the sand. Do in front something. Of them, you know, like, like, listen to fucking Moses or you die. Right, like, do some magic before you just instantly jump to not nah, too much trouble to prove myself. I'm just going to kill you. Yeah, you just have to take this dude's word who's taking all your shit. Yeah. And uh, and if you don't, I'll kill you. Right. So, yeah. good luck with that. So not cool. It's really not. So, I don't know. I don't, I don't trust people to take my shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. Do, you t- do you trust the IRS? I mean, I mean, we don't no. like the IRS. No, you know why I don't like the IRS is not necessarily like I'm not anti taxes. Here we go on a right. public no, rant, no, no. I, like I, on a yeah. not public uh, politics. Right. Okay. I don't mind paying taxes. Like I actually don't mind paying fees and dues for the awesome club that I'm in. You know, like you pay in and you get the T-shirt and all the cool stuff, like good roads and schools and shit. Right. Right. Like taxes are good. Okay. I don't even mind paying lots of taxes if that means I get lots of you know cool T-shirts out of the club deal. Right. Sure. Like that's awesome. Okay. What I mind is that, and then I have to tell them if their math is right, and they don't know what the math is. I'm like, you do though. Right, yeah. But you do, though. It's an unwieldy system that is, is on purpose. bent to help the rich. Well, obviously. So, like, it's, considering that's the, why we don't like it. That's why we don't trust considering it. Considering the fact that right now, the, hell, we pay for anything except war. Because we always have money for war, but nothing else. Well, the suggestion was, I don't know, what if we, like, tax the rich and close the loopholes? And everybody was like... But dear God, what? <laughs> what, what if what, I'm obscenely rich someday? I might be able to buy a yacht tomorrow, and now you've robbed me of that opportunity. <laughs> My dude, you were never going to buy a fucking yacht. Right. Okay? You yep. were never going to buy a yacht. And the very fact that you think you could is stupid. Right. It's stupid. Moreover, why the fuck do you want a yacht? But that's a different talk. We are going off on a rant here. We really are, and I apologize. Anyways, whether Cora was a cool dude or not, I do think that he was cool for going up against Moses and for saying what he said. Just for the record, the end. you're killing me with the anyways because it's anyway. I know, but I live in Ohio and you made me, so the end. Okay. Bye, guys. <laughs> So that ends this week's Q&A. If you have questions, answers, or comments, please email them to us by next Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern, to be included in next Tuesday's Q&A episode. Awesome. See ya. Bye.